Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Here's the News, and oh boy, we've got a jam-packed show for you. We got a recap of Nintendo's Direct yesterday. We got a uh, a bunch of stuff happening with uh, buy two get one free at certain retailers. Uh, yeah, there's the, some Breath of the Wild two news mixed in here that wasn't at E3. Oh boy, let's get into it. So first up, I want to go over the entire list of games from the Nintendo Direct as a recap in case you didn't get it or might have missed it or might have been overwhelmed by certain announcements. So we had Zelda Game & Watch. This is what they're doing for the 35th anniversary of Zelda. The sequel to Breath of the Wild. Age of Calamity DLC. Kazuya from Tekken is coming to Smash. Advance Wars 1 and 2. Mario Golf Super Rush getting a free course update. Mario Party Superstars. Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy coming as a cloud version. Obviously Metroid Dread, Metroid 5. Uh, Shin Megami Tensei 5, Life is Strange True Colors, plus the Life is Strange Remastered is coming to Switch, Cruising Blast, Dagnaropa Decadence, Fatal Frame, Maiden of the Blackwater, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, a long rumored game, Doom Eternal, Ancient Gods Part 1, DLC dropped yesterday, uh, Mushinimasama, I, I, I can't pronounce that, but that game, The Worms, Strange Brigade, and Astria Ascending. And as for my overall thoughts on Nintendo's E3, I honestly felt like it was actually pretty good. Um, when you got Metroid Dread, when you got Breath of the Wild 2, when you got Age of Calamity DLC, you got a new Mario Party, you get a great announcement for Mario Golf. We were worried about it only having like five or six announced courses. Now it's going to have free ones being added later, kind of like in Splatoon. Yeah, I would say that this was a much needed Direct. It was maybe it was definitely better than the prior Direct, even with Splatoon 3. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm pretty stoked, and I think Nintendo's going to have one more of these things later this year. Uh, yeah, so let's just get into the next story. So according to Nintendo, a.k.a. Bill Trinan, uh, yeah, Breath of the Wild 2 has a name. Uh, this is really interesting since we didn't get a name and they're still calling it officially the sequel to Breath of the Wild. We shortened it to Breath of the Wild 2. Uh, but he said this to IGN, and I find this to be interesting. It says... As for why we're holding back on the name, you'll just have to stay tuned because, obviously, Zelda names are kind of important. Those subtitles, they start to give little hints of, about what's maybe going to happen. And I don't know what's wrong about knowing that now because we're obviously going to know the title beforehand. And I feel like they're just trying to put an argument out there for argument's sake that, hey, it's too spoilery, right? We can't spoil things for Zelda fans, even though we're going to spoil it to you by letting you know the title before release anyways because you have to know the title. So I, I don't know that I necessarily buy uh, what Bill Trinan is selling here about holding back that title. I do buy that they have a title. I, I think that that's obviously been finalized at this point. The game looks pretty far along in development. What's also interesting for Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 is, you guys notice, if it comes out in late 2022, that's like the same sort of development cycle the original Breath of the Wild had when they had to build a new engine from the ground up. This obviously makes things extremely exciting, extremely exciting as we try to figure out what's next. As we try to figure out, can this game top Breath of the Wild? Obviously, as you're seeing up here, man, it looks great. Um, I have no complaints over what was shown. Is, is he a god? What is happening? This trailer is awesome, and we're going to go deep dive into this um, on another video at some point here. But yeah, I'm, I, I can't help but think that it would have been beneficial to get the title. A little bit disappointing, but at least we know it's there. It has it. Now on to the guessing game based on what we see. If I had to guess, is the title something to do with his arm, maybe? Or like the sky? Uh, I don't know. You give me your best title guesses down in the comments. So the Pokemon company announced today that there will be Pokemon Unite news tomorrow. Now you're seeing Unite up here. I don't know if you guys remember this. It was unveiled back in July. Uh, it really had a very tepid reception. Um, it, it didn't look like stupidly exciting uh, like we thought it should. The concept of the game feels like this should be some massive experience for Pokemon that's very different. Instead, it didn't really, you know, you're seeing this, it, it comes across as like this mobile game, and there was a lot of dislike for mobile games, even though Pokemon Go is obviously taken up. A lot of the other Pokemon attempts at mobile haven't exactly blown people's minds. So we'll have to wait and see what happens with this one. But yeah, there's an there's a update coming tomorrow, and we'll obviously talk about that tomorrow. So I don't know what I'm more excited for, the fact that this trailer's playing or the fact I get to use it for the next two stories. 
Um, we found out, obviously, during the Treehouse segment and after the fact, that Mercury Steam is one of the primary developers on this and is working directly with Nintendo. Shouldn't be surprising considering that Mercury Steam was the one that created Metroid Samus Returns back on the 3DS, and I think that was 2017 or so. So, yeah, we, we shouldn't be really shocked that they're working on this. But, yeah, obviously, Nintendo's helping out as well as we bring 2D, a new 2D Metroid back for the first time. What did they say, 15, 19, something years? It's been a long time since we've had an actual new brand new side scrolling metroid game uh and so yeah this is like metroid 5 metroid dread obviously there's a long history with dread and i'm glad they went into it with a developer interview on the history of the dread from a game that was canceled and now brought back uh so i'll put a link to that down in the description along with the stuff for the story but yeah I, I'm, I'm just really excited we're even getting this i mean metroid dread look at that. oh oh man i'm so stoked and we get to use this for one more video all right, so our last story is actually a really cool one I want to let you guys know about if you want to save some money. Yes, we know there's a bunch of eShop sales, right? Like, there's like 1,600 plus games on sale on the eShop. Good luck sorting through them all to find the ones you want. But what I will say is Target has a really sweet deal going on right now, and it's probably only for a limited time. So right now, they have a buy two, get one free on select Switch titles. But guess what Switch titles they are? Oh, we're not talking like, oh, Breath of the Wild. Oh, you know this. No, we're talking new things talked about at E3. So the games are in order. Um, Metroid Dread, the new Mario Party, the new WarioWare, Advance Wars 1 and 2. Those four games. You can buy two of them and get one free. So imagine you buy Metroid, you buy Mario Party, and you throw Advance Wars on. You throw Warrior Wear on and get it for free. I think that's one hell of a deal, and I want to let you know about it right now. You can do it online. You can kind of trick the system, add the three games, delete two, and still get the discount. Um, I, I, when you do stuff like that, sometimes Target's going to catch it and cancel your order. So whatever. Uh, if you only want one of the games, I guess that's one way to get a discount. But, yeah, I would just... Uh, I literally would just buy two and get one free, like it says, because that's what it's intended to do and least likely to be canceled. I think it's awesome they're doing this for brand new and else games. This essentially gets you three games for what, 45 bucks each, something like that. Like that's, I think that's a good deal. So you guys let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. Uh, I am Nint Nintendo Prime. I am Nintendo Robin Jets from Nintendo Prime. Oh man, it's been a long, long, long four days of E3. I hope you guys, if you tuned in, you enjoyed the coverage. And if you're tuning in today, this is the first video you've ever seen, drop a like and subscribe. We'll have a new giveaway beginning, uh, I think, next month uh, for July, which is really cool. It's also my birthday month. Um, I'm, I'm just, my mind is still trying to wrap around this, around Zelda, around Advance Wars. I got so many thoughts. We got to talk. We got to have some one-on-one -on -one talks. Probably going to happen in a live stream later tonight. But I got some reaction videos to get up for you guys. Uh, so show some of my best reactions from things at E3. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And I'll catch you in the next video.